All right, the Biden administration is increasing federal support to schools during the Omicron surge with a plan to send out 10 million tests. Omicron's grip on the U.S. is driving case counts to record highs, and the CDC says the variant now accounts for almost all of them. The CDC says the Omicron variant is now responsible for 98% of new COVID cases in the U.S. The sudden and steep rise in cases due to Omicron is resulting in unprecedented daily case counts, sickness, absenteeism, and strains on our healthcare system. The country is averaging 751,000 cases a day, up 47% from last week, nearly 20,000 daily hospitalizations, and 1,600 deaths a day. I suspect the deaths that we're seeing now are still from Delta. The surge collides with cold and flu season, and many pharmacy shelves are bare. But there's reassuring news about Omicron. If you're vaccinated and if you're boosted, the chances of you getting sick are very, very low. The Biden administration announced a plan Wednesday to send 5 million rapid tests and 5 million lab-based PCR tests to schools to help keep them open. These 10 million additional tests available each month will allow schools to double the volume of testing they were performing in November. Meantime, children in Chicago returned to the classroom after a five-day standoff between the teachers' union and the city over safety protocols. We want our kids to be safe. We also want our kids in school. Glad that they're able to come to an agreement. And Minnesota's governor is moving $40 million to help state hospitals with staffing shortages.